Hey guys, um, welcome to another OpenShift screencast. So um, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to install a Ruby application. So um, I already have one I would like to install, which is the, if you guys are familiar with the Redmine um, project management software, uh, it's an open source software and uh, it is written in Ruby on Rails. Uh, so um, I just want to show you like how the Ruby um, cartridge works. Uh, in this case, it needs the Ruby 1.9 and the MySQL 5.5 uh, or 5.1 cartridge. All right, so um, we're not going to waste so much time. You already know um, the gist of it because uh, if you've seen the other um, screencast, you will know um, that uh, all of them have the similar technique we use. I'm going to use the RAC client. Um, so if you don't know the RC client, please watch the other screencast to see how um, to set it up and how we use it to create applications. All right. So um, in the on the GitHub page, you can see the documentation for you know how to create an application, and this is the bit we're going to need later. So let's go ahead and create using the RC command using the app create command. Uh, let's call this our red mine. Um, you can give it any name if you like. So I'm just gonna uh, use the 1.9 cartridge and the MySQL um, 5.1 or 5.5. Uh, anyone will work fine. And we're going to create it for our OpenShift user. All right. So um, you can see um, here we're using this small um, small gear size. So I should go ahead and work just fine. And um, uh, this could take some time. So I'm going to um, come back when the installation is complete. Okay, so our application um, has been um, created, so it's just going to go ahead and clone it. And once we've done that, uh, you can see as usual, it gives us a little bit about the application. This is the application URL and um, the SSH um, directory, um, the SSH uh, links and the um, repo um, URL as well. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the upstream URL uh, so make sure we uh, inside the project and I'm going to paste this and we're going to pull okay so this will go ahead and pull the as the the um, upstream package for Redmine uh, which has been to work with OpenShift. All right, so depending on your internet connection, this might take some time. So um, maybe I'm just gonna allow this run through. Alright, so it has cloned the repo and uh, all we need to do now is to push it to OpenShift by using the git push command. Um, so as usual, this will stop all the, the cartridges, the MySQL cartridge, the Ruby cartridge and uh, deploy the application and then restart the uh, cartridge backup. Uh, so this might take some time as well. I'm going to come back when the deployment is complete, uh, then we continue from there. Okay, so... Um, it has installed a bunch of gems. Uh, for those of you that um, are using Ruby, yeah, you know that Ruby has to install gems. Gems are like its um, dependency packages. And um, you can see that the deployment uh, succeeded. You have a couple of warnings there, but you can ignore that because uh, we're using Ruby 1.9.3, I guess. So um, it's just going to go ahead and ignore that. So um, starting the MySQL cartridge, checking for assets and generating a secret token um, this is for Ruby on Rails and um, starting the my, my car, um, the Ruby cartridge and um, we should be good to go um, once we see the um, post receive status um, all right Alright, so um, anyway, you can, um, if you go back to our console, you can see our Redmine application. And uh, if you click, you see the URL for the application. 
and our deployment uh, completed successfully uh, so we can go ahead and test our new installation of Redmine on OpenShift Origin so um, it's kind of creating the cache and we'll render the application momentarily and uh, also because I'm using a VM infrastructure um, the performance might not be too great uh, it might be slow and this is expected but you know um it should still go ahead and work fine all right so um this is our brand new um redmine installation as you can see here um uh, you can sign in uh using the user admin admin um so if you're wondering where i got the username and password uh it's documented on the site uh, you can see it here so admin admin all right so yes was successful you can see uh, we logged in as admin of course you can create projects if you like uh, open shift project uh, on right mine um, you know pretty much everything you need to do um, using right mine here so you can create and uh, you know using the mysql backend and the ruby on rails application uh, you can see how fun it is of course you can um, disable some modules based on the project uh, you can kind of check out your members um, wikis if you like I uh, can call it anything you want and um, yeah pretty much um, everything that you need on Redmine all right so uh, hopefully um, this has been um, an easy um, video screencast for you uh, if you have any comments questions or suggestions please drop them in the um, comments um, box below and uh, we will discuss that all right um so thanks for watching and see you in the next bit